Hey guys, how are you going? It's hot off the female. Now, have you ever heard a chick say to you, I'm fine. It's no big deal. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. Whatever. I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> what do you want? Ha ha ha. That was so funny. So no matter how awesome a chick is that you're dating or, you know, getting to know, there are going to be times where she's going to say these things or act these particular ways. And it's pretty much inevitable. So I want you guys to kind of be able to understand what's going on and to be able to have the tools to deal with it if it ever comes or when it comes um, across your path. So this is the best way to deal with a comment or an action like that. First, don't argue about who is right. Clearly, women like being right, probably as much as men like being right. But the thing is, they have more practice at being right. So in the end, if you want to argue about it, you probably, you know, get into something that's quite intense and probably won't serve any purpose than just pissing the both of you off. So this is something that I recommend you don't do. Step two is actually to call her out on what she is doing. So if she says, yeah, I'm fine, you know, don't worry about it, nothing's wrong, I'm great. You can just be like, you know what, you're like a really terrible liar. Basically, show her that, you know, you can see past these kind of deflections that she's giving you, or these comments, or these actions, and that you can actually see what she's truly experiencing, even though she's, you know, acting the way that she is. Third, you need to investigate. When a woman is pissed off or insecure about something, it may seem like it's about you or something that you did, um, but more than often she's probably venting about something that she's upset about, and even though she may look make it look like it is about you, it really is not. So when a woman is venting or having a shit fit, don't take it personally. It's not your fault, it usually will have nothing to do with you. More often, later on, if you handle this correctly, she will actually apologize for her actions. That's right, I said apologize. Women actually apologizing to you. It happens. From investigating this, you can go from one of two places. The first is to give her space. Sometimes women need to come to their own senses. You know, they go a little bit emotional, um, emotions kind of overwhelm them, or they get really stressed out and they just don't know how to process things. They need to go talk to their girlfriends, or they need just a time out where they can just kind of digest what's been happening. So sometimes when she's in a really upset mood, it would be a good time to, you know, just give her some space and give her some time and tell her something like, you know what, when you're sane, let me know and we'll con we can talk about it. The second thing that you can do is on the spot is to find the root of the insecurity. Basically reassure her that she is safe, that everything is fine, that the world isn't going to blow up on her um, because she's so stressed out. Then ask if she wants to talk about it and focus on, you know, listening well and actually, you know, throwing in a joke now and then to lighten the mood and to change her state. Now, if a woman is having a shit fit with you every 60 seconds, or every time that you approach her, she's just a really cold bitch, or, you know, you've been dating her for a little while and everything was going well, and then all of a sudden she seems to be, like, a bit more moody or a bit more high maintenance, then this could be for a number of reasons. The first reason is that, A, she's just really, really high maintenance, and if this is the case, it's good to be aware of this so you know exactly what you're getting into so you can decide, hey, do I want a chick who's going to be like, you know, requiring all this attention or do I want to be dating a chick who's a little bit low, more low-key and just kind of a little bit more sane? So when you can become aware of that, at least you know what you're stepping into or what you're stepping out of. Selection is really the key. Number two is the possibility that you are allowing her to be high maintenance. Now I know this one can be a really big one to swallow, so bear with me. But here's the little thing that I've noticed, particularly, for example, like say with my friends. I have seen them with guys where they have been incredibly high maintenance, like psycho high maintenance. And that has been with one particular guy, yet they've gone and dated or still with partner, and I've seen them act a lot more lower maintenance, meaning, you know, they don't have a, a dramatic 
situation happening all the time. They're generally in a good mood when they're with their partner and they're generally like more emotionally stable. So how can this happen? Because as I've observed, these my friends haven't really changed. Like there hasn't been like one big thing that's changed. The only varying factor has been the man. So how is this possible? Well, essentially when you can show a woman strong boundaries, when you can change her state now and then, and when you can listen at certain points when she is feeling insecure, this helps a woman um, overall feel safe, protected, and cared of. And when she feels safe, protected, and cared of, she's less likely to have these emotional outbursts because then you become like an emotional stabilizer for her. She feeds off your presence and your calm energy, and she can actually bounce off that. However, if you're constantly reacting to the way that, you know, her, her in some ways, unreasonable behavior and re reacting to that in a negative way, it's almost like f um, fueling the fire. And so it makes it worse and then she ends up being even more high maintenance and it kind of spirals upwards from there. So I'm not saying you know, you have to put up with bad behavior from women. And I'm also not saying that all women are behaved badly. So many variables among like the type of women that you can find out there. But in general, this is kind of what's happening. Therefore, if a woman is acting badly, the most important thing is to actually call her out on it, to have strong boundaries and to let her know that you're, you are onto her. That completes this week's video. Um, I am doing a Q&A next week. So leave your uh, questions that you want answered in the comments below and I'll check them out and I'll do my best to answer the most common questions that are asked in next week's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, please subscribe and videos come out every Sunday and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.